Welcome to My Dreams Academy. Hello friends, welcome to another episode of My Dreams Academy online tutorial. It's your tutor, Emma Prime, and today I'm going to be teaching you about X magnetic field. Okay, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the lecture. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so that you can be notified of our subsequent video. Thank you very much. Most of you be asking yourself, does Earth has a magnetic field? Well, yes, it has a magnetic field, okay? And of course, that is one of the reasons why we are still alive today, okay? Now, if you're asking yourself, how does the Earth's magnetic field keep us alive, okay? Now, for you to understand that concept, you need to know what we call a solar wind, okay? Now, a solar wind is actually a, what? A stream of particles. Actually, it is made up of what? A stream of charged particles, majorly electrons and protons, okay? and they are always flowing out of the sun okay and they are in form of what plasma now they have temperatures of about 1 million degrees celsius so imagine that kind of wave sweeping across the earth it is going to melt everything across its path okay so the earth's magnetic field helps to deflect these charges so that they don't harm our ozone layer okay now for us to be able to understand the concept of earth's magnetic field now let's assume that we suspend a bar magnet okay so i get a bar magnet and then i suspend okay so i bring a bar magnet remember that bar magnets have two poles north and south and please if you want to understand more about magnetism you can kindly watch my previous video on magnetism okay so if i suspend a bar magnet what happens of course it is going to oscillate and after some time comes to rest now it is observed that this bar magnet when it comes to rest it will settle in a north south position what i mean by that okay that it will bend slightly okay something like this it will bend this way okay so this is that north and this is the south okay so that bar magnet is observed towards to bend in this way now, why does it settle this way? It is not because of gravity or anything else. It is due to what? Earth's magnetism. Now, we know that like poles repel and then unlike poles attract each other. Okay? So, if this North Pole is going bending upwards, it means that there is what? There is an imaginary South Pole that it is being attracted to. Okay? And if this South Pole is bending northwards, it means that there is an imaginary North Pole it is being what? Attracted to okay so that that means that in general we can assume that if you come to the earth's surface okay we can assume that there is a what an imaginary bar magnet at the center of the earth at the center of the earth and then that imaginary bar magnet has its south facing the north pole of the earth okay what do i mean by that so that means that the south pole of that imaginary bar magnet is facing the northern hemisphere and then the north pole of that bar magnet is facing the world southern hemisphere and of course from the lines of forces we can draw something like this we can draw something like this to represent the magnetic field of the earth the magnetic field of the earth okay of course it is going to be pointing towards the south because we know that the lines of forces enter the south okay so that is the concept and idea behind the Earth's magnetic field, okay? Now, in order to fully understand the Earth's magnetic field about any particular region, there are two important things we need to know about. What are those two important things? The first one is the angle of declination. Angle of declination. Angle of declination, or you can simply say declination of a place. And then the second one is angle of D. Angle of D. Or you can simply say angle of inclination of a place okay so that means that if I want to really explain or understand the Earth's magnetic field about any particular region these two things are very very important so we are going to explain the both of them in details starting with the first one angle of declination. so to fully understand the concept of angle of declination we are going to talk about two important lines two lines that are very very important at any point on the Earth's surface now, what are those two important lines? First of all, I'm going to have the first line and I'm going to call it 
I'm going to call it um, geographic geographic meridian. I'm going to call it geographic meridian. Okay, and I'm going to have a second line which will appear slant this way, which will appear slant this way, and I'm going to call this one magnetic magnetic meridian. I'm going to call it magnetic meridian. Okay, so these two lines are very very important in understanding angle of what declination. Now, first of all, let me talk about geographic meridian. The geographic meridian is what is an imaginary line passing through the axis of the what of rotation of the earth okay now in a more easier way the geographic meridian is the what is the line that carries or contains the north pole and south pole of the earth okay so in this geographic meridian now we have two things we have south downwards and we have north that is geographic meridian of course when you hear the word geo it means earth Okay, so the geographic meridian contains the north and south pole of the earth. Now, when we say magnetic meridian, magnetic meridian is the what? Is the line passing through the what? Passing through the magnetic axis of a freely suspended bar magnet. Remember, I told you that whenever I suspend a bar magnet, it is observed to what? To settle in a north south position. Okay, in a north south position. Okay, so this magnetic meridian is the line that represents the axis of the bar magnets. Okay, now, so if we're talking about angle of declination now, the angle of declination of a place is actually what? The angle between the geographic meridian and what? Magnetic meridian. Okay, so if I represent that angle by theta or phi, I can say that phi is angle of declination. Angle of declination. Okay, you can get a definition from the clip. Now, what happens? So, this angle of declination now is very, very important in so many aspects. Remember that I said the angle of declination is the angle between geographic meridian and magnetic meridian. Okay, now, whenever we talk about angle of deep, according to the definition, it is the angle between geographic meridian and what? Magnetic meridian. Now, this angle of declination can either be located at the east or west. Okay, so that means that after measuring the angle of declination of any particular point, it is either degree east or degree west. Okay, for example, let's assume I was using a compass and the compass was deflected and it gives me the angle of declination of a particular region. It is either recorded as maybe 12 degrees east or as maybe 12 degrees west. So it can either be found at the east or what now? West. Now, the angle of declination is normally used by what? By mariners. Okay, for them to find their location. Okay, so because of that, they cannot get lost in sea. Now, all they need to do is what? Know the angle of declination of that particular point where they are on the earth's surface. Okay, and they can be able to know their actual direction. And how would they know their actual direction? All they need to do is what? Use their compass. Now, maybe their compass might be indicating, let's say, 25 degrees east. And let's assume that the angle of declination of that particular region is, let's say, um, 10 degrees east. All they need to do is what? Add it up to this. Okay? Add it up. So that means that their bearing, their bearing becomes 25 plus 10. Okay? Or their direction becomes 25 plus 10, which is what? 35 degrees. So that is one aspect that they apply what? The angle of declination of any particular region. Okay, now with that said, we are now going to move into angle of what? Inclination or the angle of deep. Okay, so let's talk about angle of deep. Now, remember I told you that when you suspend a what? A bar magnet, it will settle in a north-south position. Okay, that means slanted this way. It will be slanted. Now, north and south. Now, apart from this vertical line, which we also call the magnetic meridian, there is also what a horizontal line at this point passing this way. Okay, this is the center of that magnet. There is also what a horizontal line passing through it. Okay, so this angle is suspended with the horizontal is known as the angle of dip. Okay, so the angle of dip is the angle which the bar magnet makes with the what makes with the horizontal, the earth's horizontal magnetic field. Okay, so if I call that angle theta, so theta represents angle of deep, angle of deep. Okay, and to measure the angle of deep, we use an instrument called the deep cycle. 
okay, the deep cycle, okay. So the instrument for measuring the angle of deep is what the deep circle, which you are seeing on the clip now, okay. So in summary, we started with what with suspending a bar magnet on the earth's field, and then we said it is going to settle in a north-south position, okay. And of course, if it settles in a north-south position, it means that the north of that bar magnet is pointing towards the south. And then the south of that bar magnet is pointing towards the word north. That is the imaginary field of the Earth's magnetic field. Okay? So, with all that said and done, we also said that to, in order to what, explain the Earth's, the Earth's magnetic field about any particular region, you need to understand two things. And what are those two things? The angle of declination and then the angle of what? Angle of D. Now, in the angle of declination, it is the angle between the geographic meridian and magnetic meridian, okay? And then we said that geographic meridian is the line that contains the north pole and south pole of the Earth. And the uh, magnetic meridian is the magnetic line passing through the magnetic axis horizontally suspended by magnets, okay? And then we also define the angle of D. Now, the angle of dip is the angle between the Earth's horizontal field and the bar magnet, as you can see from the board. And then we said that to measure the angle of dip, we use what we call the dip circle as the instrument. Okay, so we are going to be looking at some questions from the compiled and then see how to tackle them. Okay? Okay, so our first question is from Jam 1986, question number 45. Okay, they asked a simple question. They said, the angle between the magnetic meridian and the geographic meridian at a locality on the Earth is the option A, longitude of the locality, B, angle of inclination of the locality, C, latitude of the locality, D, angle of declination of the locality. So you look at that first question and then they said the angle between the magnetic meridian and the geographic meridian. Definitely it is what? The angle of declination of a place. That is option D. Okay, um, the next question is that same year, 1986, question number 48. Okay, if the inclination at Ibadan is 7 degrees south, this means that A. The angle between the geographic meridian and magnetic meridian at Ibadan is 7 degrees. B. The Earth's resultant magnetic intensity at Ibadan makes an angle of 7 degrees with the horizontal direction. C. A magnetic needle will be inclined at 7 degrees to the vertical at Ibadan. D. The north pole of the magnetic needle dips down at Ibadan. Okay, so the correct answer to that is what? Option B. And that says what? The Earth's resultant magnetic intensity at a that makes an angle of 7 degrees with the word horizontal. So remember we said the angle of inclination is same as what? Angle of D. Okay? So the next question is from Jam 1987, question number 38. And the question says, if the angle of declination in a place is 10 degrees east, calculate the through geographic bearing if the compass reads not 40 degrees east. Option A not 50 degrees east option b not 40 degrees east option c not 30 degrees east option d not 25 degrees east okay so let's get the answer to that so we are looking for the bearing okay and of course i told you that the bearing is going to be what that's the, the reading of the compass which is from that question not 40 degrees east plus the angle of declination of that point. And the angle of declination according to the question is 10 degrees what? East. So we add that to it. 10 plus 40 and that gives us not 50 degrees East. That is option A. Um, the next question says, in 2001, question number 35, what is the angle of deep at the magnetic equator? Option A, 45 degrees. Option B, 0 degrees. Option C, 90 degrees. Option D, 180 degrees. And definitely the answer is um, 0 degrees, okay? Which is option B. That is the angle. So for more questions, visit your past questions and then there are a whole lot of questions for you to solve, okay? And if anyone is giving you problems, just comment it down in the comment section below. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification icon so that you'll be notified in our, for our subsequent videos. Thank you very much.
welcome to my dreams academy